In this video, you'll be learning how to use the Video Studio Installer to make changes to your current Video Studio installation. So anytime that you need to make changes to your Visual Studio program, you need to open the Video Studio Installer program to do that. So I'm going to go over here and click on my Start button and then type in Visual Studio Installer and once that choice pops up there, I can go ahead and just click on it and click Yes. We'll allow it to modify our computer. As you can see, I already have an installation of Visual Studio. So when I open up the Video Studio Installer, it's showing me those installations. So I actually have two instances of Visual Studio, uh, the 2017 and the 2019 version. So I want to make changes to my 2019 instance of Visual Studio. So I want to click on the Modify button. And that takes me then to this screen here, the modifying screen, which allows us to modify our workloads, individual components, language packs, and our installation locations. Primarily for the programming classes, the workloads that you need are listed in the Visual Studio tutorial. What I've done there is create a little graphic for you that identifies each of these workloads and then which classes they're applied to or that you'll be using them in. In order to make a change here, all you have to do is just use the checkboxes for the particular development environment that you uh, want to either add or remove from your installation. So if you remove the check, obviously that's going to remove that from your installation. And if you put a check in there, then it's going to add that component, that development environment, that development workload into your current Visual Studio installation. Once you've made the changes here, then you just click on the Modify button. And then Visual Studio will go through the process of updating your current version. The next time you open Visual Studio, you should see then the changes that you've made here.